my channel and happy Halloween everyone who is celebrating Halloween. So obviously since today is Halloween, well the day I'm recording this is not Halloween, but the day I'm obviously posting this is I wanted to do a Halloween special because as you guys may know I record, well I upload videos every Monday and Wednesday on my channel and since this year Halloween falls on a Monday I decided to do a fun video that's like a Halloween special so we are doing a Halloween themed intermediate center for ballet. So yeah basically with this one it's just going to be kind of like a normal ballet center for intermediate students but it's going to be with some Halloween and Halloween sounding music. So um, yeah also one thing before I get started if you want you can do combinations on point if you want to. I will not be doing that for this video, but if you want that is definitely an option since most of these combinations will be pretty, they won't be too advanced. So if you kind of want to get some more point practice, then you can obviously do these um, these uh, combinations on point. And even if you are an advanced student, you can do these combinations as well. I'm just doing this at an intermediate level. Um, so one thing you might notice is I have a brace on my ankle. I did not hurt myself again. If you guys didn't know, over, like during June, I accidentally sprained my ankle on my birthday and it's mostly better. It's just been kind of bothering me the, again for the past couple weeks. So I'm just using this danceable ankle brace to just give it more support so I don't hurt anymore because I do have my pair coming up for me in about a month. So yeah, that, that's just a little FYI. I'm not, I did not hurt my ankle again. I just, it's the previous ankle sprain is just bothering me again. But yeah, without the way, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting out with the Adagio. Um, this adagio is actually kind of inspired by Giselle, at least the first part of the adagio is kind of inspired by Giselle. So you're going to start in um, on Foss facing this way and you're going to have your right leg in the front but you're actually going to pick up the back way leg. The reason why is because later on the combination you are going to need the back leg. <laughs> so. Yeah, with this one, you're going to definitely your leg to the side for two counts, and then three and four, you're going to fuente into arabesque, and your legs will probably be higher than mine. I'm actually going to lower it for now because I'm just going to be marking this, and then you're going to just ponche for two counts, and then you're going to come up and then go back. Into first service. And then you're going to come down to the corner and you're going to end in for their best. And then you're going to pull your leg into passe. And you're going to double the yeah, to the front from there. And you're going to pause the right into both position. Let's move over here so you can see me. And you're going to move a pirouette, you can do a double, you can do a single, you can do a triple, as many pirouettes as you want and can do. And then you're just going to Susu so here because we have a little bit of an extra count. And then you're going to go one and two and three and let's go back over here. And then on the fourth one, arabesque. And you're going to prepare and then in arabesque, better than I did. You're gonna end in first arabesque, and then pod the boot right. And then, to the other side, you're gonna pick up the back leg. So this is why you're the first time you're doing the back leg, because otherwise, you're, if you pick up the front leg, you're gonna go back to the other side. So, you have to pick up the back leg. So, it goes one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, 
seven and eight. Actually, if you don't have enough time, you can just go straight into these from here instead of doing the susu after the pirouette. If you do more pirouettes, obviously. And then you're going to do one and two and three and four. I think I'm coming off screen here, so let's go back over. And four and five and six and seven and eight. So yeah, that's basically the adagio. Again, after the hero from fourth, if you don't have enough time, you can skip the susu and just go straight into doing the coupes after that. So yeah, let's just do the combination. Similar, but that's what I'm doing. So one and two and three 
we've got. And again, we should finish in fifth, so you can start on the other side. So one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Again, this combination is pretty under yourself. Um, the posture balls, you probably will move forward, you definitely will move forward, but for the rest of the combination, you should be very under yourself for this. Again, you don't, you remember to pause whenever you do the polish balls or the PKs. You will hear it in the music when I play this with the music, but for now, just remember to really try and pause and hold that position. I might go off camera for this one, so I'm sorry. 
motion in all over again for the game. So again, one, two, three, four, five, and that one, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, you're basically going to do the combination four times, two times to the right, two times to the left. Because it is a pretty short combination. So yeah, this is basically going to be our first petite allegro. I'm doing three jumps in this video, so we're doing two petite allegros and three, and then one more allegro. Because in my first um, video when I did the um, intermediate center bar, I only did two jumps. This time we're doing three, and two of them are going to be petite allegro. Okay, 
So we're going to be doing that. So let's start again from the beginning. So it goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four. And then you're going to end your rest five and six and seven towards your neck. And then one and two and three and four. And again, you are going to end in arabesque. So that is the first part, so let's go over that again. It's very symmetrical, like the whole plate, the whole combination is very symmetrical. So we basically do both sides at the same time. So I don't have to do extra for me. So yeah, again, let's go. So one and two and three and four and five. And six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and the nearest six, seven towards the take. And one and two and three and four. And then from here, you're going to go on assemble. Fair and quick. No, I don't know. Run assemble. Fair and And then you're going to do. A cabriole to the back, look at this. And if you are not comfortable with cabrioles yet, or you just haven't done them before, then you can also just do this here as well. But if you can't do a cabriole, I would um, recommend trying. So again, let's start from here. So you go one and two and three and four. And then